What is going on, United Clans here? Back in your life. Check it out. We are back. We've made it back to our base. Now, this is the... Uh, this is one of our little structures, and we get a couple more over on this side. I still haven't really employed like a boathouse dock type situation, but uh, we we did all right. I mean, I didn't find everything I was looking for out there uh, in the uh, cavern. There, I, did, I really only got some more coal, some more iron, but we got a decent chunk of iron. I think, really not that much. Yeah, that was a pretty lame journey. This ma this uh this island is pretty devoid of caves. I think next time I need that kind of stuff, I'm just gonna start a branch mine. We're gonna dig down. We're gonna dig down to uh, whatever 12 or 14 or wherever the best place to get, you know, that kind of maximal range to get things done. Uh, to find diamonds and iron and gold and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna go down there and that'll be it. I'm gonna call it a day. I don't think any of these caves actually lead anywhere. I'll just make sure. I think they all just like stick out on the- yeah, that's it. Yeah, there's none that go deep. There's none that go deep within. I wonder- oh, I'm, I'm breaking the path. Sorry guys. I guess we could build another little house. Actually, we could build one right there. We could even build one right here. I like that. I like the idea of just infesting this mountainside. But really, I should have gone down, come out this thing. That's the path I made. Who's shooting arrows at me? Where are you at, you freak face? Somebody. Somebody's got a problem with old UTC. And I heard him, and it was when once I was over. Oh, there he is. That'll do it. Oh, what a fool. Okay, guys. This is going to turn into an epic battle, and I had no idea. Now, how do I get into my own base without killing myself? That, not the way to do it. All right, let's hide in here. Let's eat some meat. And then we'll go deal with that stupid old skelly. I can't, I didn't see him. You guys probably saw him. You're probably screaming at your screens. Running out of food already. We gotta get some farms going. There you are. I found him. I found the fool. And I know the best way to deal with him. It's very creative. And it involves partially destroying my house. Hey, buddy. Where you at? Where you at? I want to chop your face. Where'd you go? Okay, fine. I'll knock this one out, too. And we'll just do battle on this ledge. Oh! How'd you get behind me, you fool? I'm getting double teamed. I'm getting double teamed hard. Oh, don't, 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 don't. I'm gonna chop you. I'm gonna chop you hard. Oh my gosh, guys, a heart, a single heart. Oh! He had a third man. Dang it. Dang it all to hell. Oh, look, and I stupid, I broke my stupid bed. Oh, what a disaster of an episode this is. All right, guys, I'll, I'll get back to you. Stupid, I'm on top of the dang ocean's gate. I'm trying to find a quick, fast way down. This might be it. Just a death jump. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. All right, guys. Oh, we're doing it. Oh, yes. Oh, by a long shot, baby. Yes. Nailed it. There's probably a zombie up there We're using my sword and whatnot. This is going to make things complicated. And I'm not going to have a sword. I guess I could make it quickly whip together a sword in one of these bases. Hopefully I left behind the required supplies. What do I have in here? Uh, wooden sword. Yeah, wooden sword will have to do. Here we go. Alright. Let's go. Let's go chop this freak right in his stupid old face. Gotta get some armor going. I mean, geez, there's not even any cows around here for me to get leather off of. Alright, guys, we're back. I'm getting some of my stuff. I don't know where that freak went. Oh. He's totally gone. He came in. He came in, helped double team me. Or maybe, did, was that like a death blow from the other one? Where'd this guy go? Where'd the one who killed me go? Alright, well, it looks like I got. I think I got. Almost everything back? I don't know. If I lost something that doesn't seem... Oh, here. Yeah, that'll do it. Alright, geeks, we are back to it. And today... I'm going to finish up some of this construction. Yes, I think that is the best, absolute best idea. Now, I need... Oh, I need some regular old oak lumber. I don't bring any of that. 
Yes, I brought lots. Good. Alright. We're starting to get geared up. I'm thinking maybe we throw lumber. Lumber. Why am I calling it lumber? Uh, yeah, there we go. Yes, I'm thinking maybe we fill in this area. I don't know how that feels. Feels alright to me. Now, for this side at least, the idea is to fill in behind. Um, and we could maybe do glass? Dang, I don't know. And I guess it should be down here too, right? We'll just continue it up. Screw it. I don't even know what to do with this. Yeah, let's just fill it all in. Um, reading on the news, I guess Google got in trouble for being accidentally racist. They have a new photo app that auto detects um, that auto detects what's in the picture which is really cool technology and I think it's something that's been a long time coming right because there are things that computers can't do that humans can do innately you know what I mean we can just kind of we can look at something and, and know it and a computer would have to like it's like uh, it's like recognizing patterns and things like humans are very very good at that I guess I can knock you out now Oh, I'll take that. Uh, and so they they posted, I guess, a demo. I don't I don't know if it was a demo or if the app is already out. But if the app is already out, I guess what happened is it mislabeled some people in I suppose what's a racist way. There were there were two uh, black people in an image, uh, and it called them gorillas. Now. A person didn't do that. That was their app. Uh, and I don't I don't even want to really take a stance on it. But my question is like they're they're apologizing and they're they say they're outraged and appalled that their app could get to that point. But I guess what I was thinking, oh yeah, we you know what? We can build a cool little base up up top in this thing. Uh, I haven't figured it out yet. I just want to go s <clears throat> I will never learn. I want to go see how this looks from the outside. Uh, but my question is, if it's an automated app, it's obviously not perfected, it's wrong, right? But I, I guess I wasn't sure you'd have to apologize for something your automated app does. You could just go, oh, it's just a flaw in the system. It's the same way if it, you know, labeled anything wrong. I, the app is not racist, right? And I mean, looking at it uh, from the outside in, yeah, it definitely seems racist if a person did it. But a computer did it. Can a computer even be racist? That's a very important question. Uh, I don't know if you guys followed that thing in the news, but it had it had me curious, like asking questions about what. Yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? Like that looks good. I like the way that looks. I don't think we have to go all the way down across the bay. Um, so with that done, I think. I mean, there's more to be done up here for sure, right? We got to maybe put in a little loft. Stupid old phone. Anyway, it's, a, it's an intriguing question. I don't think a computer can be racist because racist, it's, there's some intention uh, to racism. Now, I can't speak, um, you know, this is one of those situations where you can never really put yourself in the other person's shoes. Uh, I'm, I'm a white guy, I was born white, uh, and I, I don't think I could ever know what it's like to be uh, born differently. It's the same way uh, a black person or an Asian person couldn't really know what it's like to be white. They might have a better idea if they live in North America because they have uh, many friends and family who are white. You know what? We're going the wrong way. Uh, not friends and family. You know, it's just, uh, geez, there's a complicated issue to discuss. I probably shouldn't have even broached it. I'm going to come off sounding like an idiot. But my point is, that, yeah, it might be easier for a person who is a minority in North America, if you live in North America, to know what it's like for the largest of the minorities, which I suppose um, uh, Caucasian people are. But uh, oh, geez, it's uh, yeah. I don't. I don't want to speak for the people who are in the photo because that must be extremely, 
extremely alarming and, and probably offensive, but my big question is like, is it, is a computer, should, I mean, I guess Google should be apologizing because their technology did say something that offended somebody, right? But I don't know if it's racist so much as just an accident that's coincidentally racist. I'm curious what you guys think, if, if, how that would work. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing here that we did on the other side, um, but I'm just going to oh, get away from me. I'm just going to put that in for now because I'm not sure how we're doing the roof here. Mm, oh, my stupid old mouse. There we go. Hey, we're, we're, we're getting this done. Doing some more construction around the gate. We're slowly transforming this thing into something even more glorious. Let's put you right there first. So I'm not sure the idea for the roof up here. It should be the same as on the other side, right? Except we have four gables. So maybe, maybe just a thought, we'll do what we did on the other roof. We'll run the solid blocks right across top. Something like that. Right? Okay. And then from there, you would go like this. Yeah, okay. I think that's how it's going to work. And then it'll have to go... Oh, we're not even going to have the room to make it the way I want to make it. Okay, so I might as well fill this in. Yeah, this all ought to be filled in. We'll fix that from the ends. Oh, not that one. Uh, but here, though. Yes. Alright, and you go there. And you go there. Okay, well, this is starting to come together. Uh, and by the way guys, you can tell me if there's certain topics you think are maybe a little beyond the scope of a regular old YouTuber, uh, that's cool too. If you just want to hear me stick to talking about video games, I'm down with that. I don't, I don't need to get into uh, news and politics, but that one just it had my attention and it had me curious and it had me thinking. I, I kind of want this to be uh, a, you know, a smart let's play. I don't want it to be your average you just talk about the game. I want us to talk about lots of cool stuff. Like, I really liked last episode uh, when we got talking. About, is that right? Yeah. That is right, I guess. We'll just, we'll open this up a little bit. There. I'm, that, this feels better. The roof feels more complete. Uh, but if you guys do like, you know, broaching some more interesting topics, let me know the kind of things you might, would be down to talk about. Uh, because, yeah, like I said, I, I, uh, I like this being like a little chit-chat every week. That's what's kind of reinvigorated my love for the game. Now, I don't... Come on. You know better than that, you fool. Dang fool. Uh, I'm wondering if we can make the roof come out as far as we did on the other side. This might just look freaking stupid by the time I get done with it. Uh, oh, I don't even know how we do. Was that straight across? Yeah, it was. Okay. And then here, let's fill in these gaps. Yeah, that'll work. And you can go here, 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 here. Yes. Okay, I'm starting to like this. Uh, I think if we can really get a unified style going across this entire island, it's going to look so cool when we're done with it. Oh, and I'm out of steps. Okay, good. That's cool. I was making more uh, back at the other base. Oh, I gotta get a new system here. Uh, did I bring ladders? No, I didn't bring ladders. That's cool. Let's stand on top of this one and let's just bang these two out for now. Yeah, that's better. That'll be, have to be the way it is for the moment. I'll have to just be like that. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go get ourselves some more stairs. Oh, heck. All right, we are back at sunrise, and this is starting to make it easier, these uh, these sort of little tunnel paths that we built. Oh, except for that. Man should know when to close the door. But yeah, I'm going to finish up this roof, guys, and then we'll, we'll maybe call an end to this uh, particular episode uh, here. So this is the basic design. This is what we did last time. But then the trick was going underneath. 
doing this little, oh, don't give me a hard time. The trick was going underneath and doing a little of that. Now, I don't know if that's even going to look good. I don't. I have no idea. Now, we're going to have to bang this out and go the water straight under me. Yeah, maybe I'll bang this out and we'll take a dive down the water. I don't need any of that stuff. All right. And then we'll just take a flying leap of faith. I haven't even looked. Yes, we'll be fine. There we go. Yeah, how does that look? I need to go further out. That's the trick. It needs to, because it'll extend in this direction too. Not just on that side. But if we just look at it from the one side, dang, I should've got a stupid old boat. Yeah, that's looking okay. That's looking okay. It's because it's lopsided. If that went all the way around, that might look cool. All right, heck, this is going to be a long episode. I'm going to go do that, guys, and I'll come back to you. All right. All right, guys, I'm back at it here. And I'm trying to finish up so I can actually help out a new buddy. Uh, he's an ARC guy. He plays a lot of ARC. Uh, and I wanted to help him out actually making, like, one of the first uh, really cool machinima uh, type things I've seen for that game uh, and uh, I'm actually gonna log into their server as soon as I'm done and go be a bit of a cameraman you know what I mean ride a dinosaur uh, so they can get a, a cute cool shot so if you know machinimas are basically like movies made from the assets of a video game right uh, Minecraft has tons and tons of them like you guys say, any any animated Minecraft stuff that's basically the proper term uh, for that uh, um, and uh, it's kind of cool nobody's really doing it the guys are called uh, over at vengeance sorry uh, my stomach growling UTC hasn't had a proper breakfast today I got straight to recording free freaks uh, but yes uh, vengeance studio so I'm gonna be helping them out for the next little bit you guys know I've been playing arc uh, since it came out uh, and it's kind of slotting into more of a once a week minecraft type uh, spot now that the game's been out for ages but uh, that'll be a cool uh, I've been looking for you know cool new people to connect with uh, with the game and uh, this is one of the first uh, people I found that I actually down to work with they're making a movie called uh, native and it's gonna be like kind of a full-length film but it's gonna get released in sort of episodes uh, it seems like a really neat idea uh, so as soon as I'm done here uh, I am going to uh, head over to their server and give them a hand, and I'm kind of stoked for it. Oh, guys, I think I might just run out of uh, run out of blocks before we get to the end of this thing. I'll take that. I need it. I need every single one I can get my hands on. All right, geeks, we got a little more stone brick cooking, but I think we might have what we need. Uh, yeah, so I've been looking basically since I started this channel for some cool people to collab with. Might actually get to collab with a uh, subscriber coming up. Uh, how? Where? Where did that go? It just disappeared. Is there like a secret hole here? You guys see that? I had a whole pick and it's gone. I just, I don't understand. Did it go down here? What? Oh. What? Does that make sense to you guys? I Not to me. Not to me. The, the roof is, is pretty much done. Uh, well, I'm going to zoom us out and take a decent look at it. Yes, I think this is starting to look good. Can I just dive off here? Yes, I can. And I can go. Oh, he's got some of my stuff. Get the sword out. We'll do. This is a great way to end this episode. All right, ready? Ready, guys? Yes! Boom! Chop on your head! Oh, almost. Almost did a flying chop. Give me that steel shovel. That's not mine. I never had a steel shovel. But I'll take it. What's happening? Yeah, I think that looks good. Now, I still... Oh, that's what's happening. Oh, you got a bunch of freak friends. I am gonna just mess you losers up. Yep, and you're getting chopped too. I hate fighting skellies in the water. That'll work. Hey! Hey! I'm gonna chop you silly. You didn't even know who you're messing with. That's my boat, you idiot. Oh my god, he smacked it silly. I wonder how my boats get so far adrift. It's these stupid old kraken. Dang squids. Nonsense. 
Yeah, this base is starting to come together. All right. Control. Yes, not shift. Okay. So I need to I need to round out the corner. I need to wrap the corner around. See that? Okay, I need to connect these. I need to add in uh, four kind of half slabs, I think is the way to do that. Oh, and I need to do the underside of this one. But that's going to look cool. That's going to be good. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this. I don't even need to fill in the whole thing. I could just put a little half slab right in the little corner there. All right, I think that will do it for this one, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, hanging with me in the last couple episodes. We talked some new stuff. We talked about travel last episode. And today I talked about how Google may or may not be a horrible racist. And so is their computer technology. But uh, guys, thank you for the support, the love that you give on this series on a weekly basis. I'm loving doing it uh, right now, and I'm going to keep it up for you freaks. I'm Unite the Clans. Thank you, geeks, so much for watching. And I will see all y'all in the next episode of the Minecraft. That's not how you sit in the boat. Not at all. Your legs are coming out the back of the boat. I don't know how that works. That's better.